Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing your daily for, I'm always in October, so November, November 15th, 2021. So let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message for the Aries Collective. You guys can still enter for the giveaway in November. Okay, and you can still open, um, I'm open for personal readings. I'm just open until the end of November. So they come in, they're going out. All right, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels. What does Aries need to see here for November 15th, 2021? Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels. Thank you so much. All right. Wow, so we get the gift of dance, the aura chakra. Okay, so someone here, dance is a very expressive, okay, thing to do. I used to love to dance in all different forms. So maybe someone here really needs to get up and get their energy moving, going, doing something that you, if it's not dance, doing something that you love to do, right? So you can get back into alignment. Um, I also know like I use a little technique because I'm just silly. I'm an Aries. Like when I, my cousin, I think you, um, tell me about this. Just like when you're feeling low or your energy is feeling low, get up and dance, put on your favorite song and literally move around the room. Your energy is going to shift instantly. You're going to raise your vibration instantly. Okay. So this is a self love Oracle card here. So maybe somebody really needs this message for today. Okay. All right, so let's see here. What is the energies for Monday? All right. Monday, October 15th, 2021. I did it again. You guys know why I'm still in November. I'm in October, so okay, I'm not even going to go there. All right, so action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. So there's some sort of actionable step that you need to take this um, month. Coming up, hold on one second, the music cut off. Okay, all right. And this, this action needs to come from your heart space, your heart chakra. This action needs to come with love, okay? Because this is the power of love activation decks. So this needs to come with love, all right? And we have willingness and this needs to be something that you're willing to do, right? Not out of force, out of pure positive energy. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. Let's plug it down. Okay. And let's see here. Did I show you the card? Willingness. Shout out to Cherie. If you're watching this, because I just saw your comment come across my phone and it's so crazy because you're one of the something I was about to do for you <laughs> right next. OK, so shout out to you. That might be a sign right there. OK. All right. So let's see here. What do we have here? I'm using the romance angels. Oh, OK. So we have codependency flipped right. It flipped in the deck. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So there's some sort of codependent situationship or relationship that you're in that you may need to take some action in. All right, because I also see release at the bottom of the deck and I wanted to say that earlier, but so you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe and we have passion. Oh yeah, codependency and passion definitely go together. Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. I see heart to heart conversations at the bottom of the deck. Give us one more card for the Aries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And free yourself. Woo, Aries. At the bottom of the deck, we have deception and getting to know each other and separation. Someone you just met, huh? You're starting to see those codependent um, traits reemerge, right? But there's a lot of. Hold on, this is where my child is at. Okay. So you're you're starting to see a lot of codependent traits in somebody again. Mm-hmm. Don't let it trigger you. Okay. This could be something, a situation that you've been in for a while. This could be a fairly new situation. 
Okay, let me show you. One of the things that makes it hard to free yourself from codependent relationships, especially when it takes two to tangle, takes two to tangle, so it's not just this person, you're exhibiting codependent traits as well because you attract this type of person. And then there's and then you throw in the sex, right? And so then now you think it's love. Well, it could be a some form of love, but it's very unhealthy. And to me, love is very pure. It's not. It's nothing as unhealthy about love, um, because even excessive love is not real, true love. Um, so there's a lot of passion, and spirit is saying, "Hey, you need to take the action and go ahead and pull yourself up out of this before any damage, any more damage is done." Okay. We have deception. And I feel like I said it was somebody new because I see getting to know each other underneath. So this could be a new situation and you're already getting these red flags. Exit stage left. All right. So let's see. Let's just see what the tarot has to say. Holy Spirit, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please allow me to get a clear message for the Aries Collective for November um, 15th, 2021. If you have a pug, you know, they just stare at you. It's like on some real stalker type shit. The pug just goes, sits in the middle of the floor and he's just looking at me like, bitch, when are you coming to the couch? Like, when are you coming to the couch? Okay, at the bottom of the deck, seven of swords. Deceptive. Deception. It's there. Somebody was lying to you. Somebody was lying to you. Somebody was not only lying to you, they were pretending to be someone who they're not. You just and they probably were showing you really the whole time, but you were you were caught up in the passion. Let's see here. What is the situation? <laughs> Pugs is so funny. What is the situation here for Aries? Oh wow. A new love, maybe that ended abruptly. The, the Empress fell out with the death card. I'm going to take them both in the main situation. Okay, but you are an Empress, Aries, okay? It, or this is your counterpart. This could be somebody that you were dealing with because you're really an Emperor. But I don't know who I'm talking to, but Empress is the energy of just abundance. Abundant in all things. Abundant in love, money. I'm sorry, I was looking at the card. Um time energy it's it's knowing your worth and that's what i'm getting from this Ooh, okay i'm getting that like somebody here maybe have ended something quickly because you have elevated you do know your worth you maybe have been healing from so some codependent issues yourself but you have risen or rose don't know you have risen above all of this and so whenever this, let me see, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I could tell you the whole story with these two cards right here, but well, I know people like to look at the cards. So I'm just getting here that you have gone through a real transformative energy with this death and this Empress card. You know your worth, you are awakened to who you are and you're awakened to your light. So even if somebody does come around and treat you poorly, it won't go on for long. It won't go on for long. That's why this action card is here, right? And free yourself. You, it, it went on a, a long enough just for them to do what they needed to do to show you who they were. Because now that you're in this Empress energy, it could cut off quick. These are two major arcanas. The death card is, is not a playful energy. It's done. Nail in the coffin. And it also ends because it allows new to come in. Okay? So could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Let's see here. What is the challenge? Knight of Pentacles. This is a slow moving commitment. Like, okay, so your love life has been moving kind of slow. You haven't really been seeing a lot of options, a lot of new opportunities. And so you kind of, you, you, you dabble in with everything. But look, the, the challenge is here is to take your time. You make a lot less mistakes if you move slower with people right? You get hurt less if you move slower with people. Because if you move slower, then it gives them time for the lie and the facade to kind of fade. Because the thing is about people who are toxic, people who put on a show, love bombers, all of that, they move very quick. And so you feel like you're in this passionate just whirlwind of energy. 
Now, if you if you take the lead, Aries, and you slow it down, and I know it's hard because when you find somebody that you instantly connect with and you just feel like, oh my God, the chemistry is just there. You just want to move at the same speed, but you slow it down. And if they don't slow it down with you, they're going to end up tripping over and they're going to expose their hand. Okay. Um, let them do, let them do, see where they're going to go. Okay. So let's see here. What's the advice from spirit? The moon. There's some things that you don't need to share. You some things that you do need to keep hidden. You don't need to expose all of your hand. Okay. What is the outcome? We got three cards. There's the five of swords manipulation, trying to win at all costs. The devil. I just said that toxic. Toxic six of cups. Somebody from your past or someone who you thought was a soulmate. It was a loving connection, but it had a lot of a lot of strings attached. We have the two of cups here, knight of swords and the four of swords. Um, somebody thought that they could get over on you. May have been a lot of sexual chemistry between you two. But this person was trying to play this game with you. They were trying to play this these manipulation tactics with you. Did it work? Maybe a little bit. But I think you're seeing what it is, what it's worth, right? You're seeing it for what it's worth. So let's clarify the Empress and the Death card here. The Emperor and the Death card. Who is the Empress and the Death card? Tower. This shit blew up on them. Because it would happen so quickly, it wasn't um it wasn't built on a strong foundation. It just came crumbling down. It came crumbling down. Clarify the tower. Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. This tower moment saved you. You followed your intuition here and you let this tower. It was just one of the, it was a cycle here and you, you broke free. You literally freed yourself by listening to your intuition, right? Not giving too many chances. This is a new beginning, Aries. We're not giving this new person or even new people all these chances that we gave these toxic exes. You've learned your lessons for a reason. And that's because with the new people, the minute that you start to see the red flags, you're moving on. And the quicker that you do that, the quicker you let new people come in instead of staying stuck on one person. See, the thing is, the problem is, and I've learned this in my experience, is that we give people too many chances when we're talking about love. When we're talking about love, we're talking about relationships, people are going to show you what they want in right off the bat. <clears throat> They're going to show you who they are right off the bat. Stop giving so many chances because you get dickmatized, okay? Stop giving so many chances because you get pussy whipped, all right? It's just all you're doing is setting yourself up for more heartbreak. And if they got something good in between your pants, there is a billion and one people in, you know, fish in the sea. There's going to be somebody else that comes along and the next person is going to have something good in their pants and they're going to be a good individual and they're going to be a good person. Okay. Somebody needs to hear that because you keep giving these people who've already showed you who they are too many chances. All right. So what is this Knight of Pentacles? Yeah. Five of Pentacles. See, the thought a lot of you have, um, a lot of you have issues with moving slow, and that's going to be your dip, your biggest downfall. Yeah, a lot of you have issues moving slow, dating slow, taking your time, and you're going to get left out every time. You're going to get ghosted. You're going to get abandoned every time because you let somebody go in too quick, and you know that because this is the challenge position. You let them do whatever they was going to do too quick, and you you you. You get abandoned every time. All right, let's see here what the moon energy is. The magician. The magician is clarifying the moon. This is advice. Let's clarify this magician one more time. Page of cups, I've been seeing a lot and it wants to come out. Four of cups. <clears throat> 
Somebody may have missed an opportunity with you, Aries. I feel like you're manifesting new love anyways. Uh, yeah, I see the tip. I see the ten of that is my Chanel flip flop pugly. Oh, I cannot stand him. I see the ten of pentacles here. So, and then the hermits underneath, and I think that's the ace of cups. Yep, and the ace of cups is underneath here. The advice from spirit Aries here. You're gonna have to deal with these emotions, deal with these feelings, deal with the feels, right? But then you're gonna have to let it go with the four of cups. Somebody may have missed an opportunity with you and that's okay. That's okay because they weren't meant from you in the beginning, but you're going to have to use this energy here and manifest exactly. You can still manifest. I see a lot of love coming in towards you. Like this situation wasn't the end all be all anyways. Yeah. So the outcome, cutting off communication with this toxic person, with this toxic individual, the four of swords. Clarifying. the sun and when you do look what happens the sun you you win you get the upper hand anyway with the sun and the four of swords right you're going to cut off communication with this devil energy this manipulative energy here and you're going to get the victory you're going to get the win okay Clarify one more time yeah knight of swords they may come rushing back in and that's the challenge they may come rushing back in with a good story of, wow, this dog is really tearing up my flip-flop right now. I don't want to get up. This person may come back in with a good story. You know, they. I even hear, I'm hearing slick talker. Knight of Swords energy, very quick. Maybe even, like, that's the type of people, because of, we do have the devil energy here. And the devil is giving very toxic right now. The devil can be a lot of things, but right now it's giving very toxic. So when I see this Knight of Swords, I see somebody coming back in angry. This person is coming in angry that you left them after they did all of this. Look, see, Ace of Swords, they're coming in to communicate. You've seen the truth. So they're angry that you left them. It really be the audacity for me. I swear to God, it really be the audacity. And I've seen that situation more times than I can count. You give people the rope to hang themselves. And then when you, when you, we got the death card again in the outcome and in the beginning, you ate a cup, you walked away. And the temperance and you found peace and you found balance within yourself good job aries but it really be the audacity look at this at the bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles and the two of cups you, you do have something else coming in it might not be right now but you have something else coming in it really be the audacity these people like really come in here and do all this toxic shit and lie to you and try to use you and abuse you and then you say well you know what enough is enough and then they get mad that's how you know you're dealing with somebody who's codependent that's how you know you're dealing with you know somebody who's wearing a mask you know that's how you know you need to leave okay that's what i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this reading talk to you soon bye